Hey guys, I'm Dimension Jumper and welcome back to episode 19 of the Pokemon Y Let's Play. In the last episode, we managed to go th uh, get our way through Frost Cavern, uh, Battle Team Flare, and also Gumi evolved into Sligu. So now it's just going on to the next area, more, to, more so to speak. Uh, okay, escape rope. Oh, and also we got um, an Abomas Knight from. And Abomas, from the Obama snow that was causing the hurricane, not the hurricane, the blizzard. Um, so yeah, uh, stop right there, youngster. I'm going to paint your portrait. Don't bud, don't budge an inch. Yeah, and hopefully we can just do some more battles and hopefully um, get um, uh, Sligu to a decent enough level then hopefully by either next episode or the episode after uh, Sligu can evolve into uh, Gudra yeah and I will need to find a place that is raiding and it'll possibly a place that has uh, you know Pokemon that has high experience it's just so that um, uh, Gudra can, no, no, not Gudra, Sligu can easily evolve faster and quicker, that means we can get Gudra faster. So yeah, that's going to be the plan for the next few episodes, um, just trying to get uh, Sligu to evolve into Gudra, so then we can have an entire team that have fully evolved of Pokemon. That's my uh, hope for this, for the, for the next few episodes. So that'll be nice. Um, and also, I need to find some more candies because those can also come and help. Help. Uh, okay, okay, um, okay. I can cross over there with Lapras. I can come back to that later. Um, it's cold. Uh, you there? You came at, the, at just the right time. Let's want, bo let's want bodies with some vigorous Pokemon battling. Okay, so if I. Go to the, if I go to the Pokemon Center, get Lapras, come back, I can find out what that uh, item is. Uh, and it's a Vigoroth? No, oh, it was a Vibrava. Um, I know the Dragon and Ground. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna use Sligu. I haven't used Sligu in a while. Hopefully, um, Vibrava hasn't got any Dragon type, okay. It uses Screech, that's good enough. Hopefully, it doesn't use any dragon type moves. Oh, oh, one hit. Okay, I was expecting uh, to do some damage. Okay, found um, that was it. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna quickly go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, oh, I need Waterfall. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I need. Oh, I need waterfall. I don't have waterfall yet. Okay, no, scratch that. I'm not going to get waterfall. I can't go get that item yet because I need waterfall. Um, another trainer. Uh, careful sky battle with a sky trainer. Yes. Uh, my wings cut though th through the snow, up, up, and away. Ah, I, I really, I, I feel like sky battles should have been included more. Kind of fine. Oh, okay. Because uh, I, I, I do enjoy Sky Battles. I think Sky Battles should have been introduced more in games of in the Pokemon series. Because they are really cool and interesting. Because you can use like, you know, flying types and some Pokemon that has like Levitate, I think. I'm not too sure. I think Pokemon with the ability Levitate can also uh, uh, can use, um, can be used in uh, flying battles or Sky Battles. And now we're up against a Swarner, kind of wished I had an electric type, or, uh, well, what can you do? Okay, uh, oh, and one hit, okay, oh, that was a critical hit, nice. Okay, that's another battle done. I should really get to go into the Pokemon Center so I can heal up my Pokemon, um, Hang on, I wonder. Uh, I wonder. I'm just gonna quickly check something out. Cause I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling that something 
is Eldis here, apart from the other hidden item I think would think was a dire hit or something, I can't exactly remember from the last episode. Uh, I wonder, uh, do you have anything? Uh, windmills rotate just like the Wheel of Destiny. So rotation battles are windmills. I, I like windmills, uh, I mean destiny, okay. Um, any other hidden items? Ooh! 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 We've got, we've got a, uh, we've got a possible contestant for the hidden item. Uh, 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 it's, ooh! Aha! A nugget. Oh. Well, we can sell that, um, and get a decent amount of money. Uh, hello? Uh, the frost caverns water flows in the swimming, in the swimming Pokemon looks so comfortable. Okay, um. Lady runs another hidden item here, I suppose. Um, okay, I'm just gonna heal up. Yep, I would like to heal them up. Okay. There we go, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, I wonder, uh, how much money do I have at the moment? Uh, on my person. Okay, so how many Ultra Balls do I have? 27. I could get, uh, I'm gonna get, you know what, I'm gonna see how much I can, can get, uh, okay, 40, I can get 40 Ultra Balls, but I might get, um, 20, yeah, I'm gonna get 23, yeah, just so I have enough for later on in the game, I'm gonna sell the nugget that I got, that's 500, okay, uh, oh, I've got a pearl as well, oh, I forgot about that, uh, sell, I am gonna get, oh, 700, I was expecting something more, um, no, I need to buy, then I might buy, how many forward source can I get, eight, okay, I'm gonna get, um, let's say, four, then I'm gonna buy the rest with of it with revives. So I have a nice, decent amount of stuff. Yeah, because for the, when it comes to the end of the game, I will need to get like enough healing items and ultra balls and possibly some other kind of pokeballs um, for when it comes to the, like the end of the game because you can you can catch. Uh, a few legendaries in the game, uh, which I'll talk talk about at the very end of, of the let's play. Okay, uh, oh, uh, Snova. Okay, this could be a problem. Um, because Greninja is uh, a water type. Yeah, that was the word. Um, and Snova is part grass. Oh, there we go. Okay. Mist. Don't know what that does. I think it. I don't. Know, I've completely forgotten what mist does. Um. Okay. Let's use. Um. Hang on. A nest ball. Yeah, I'm gonna use a nest ball. There we go. Nest ball because I can. One. Two. Ah, oh, so close. In ah, oh, ingrain. Ah, uh, was okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna use uh, lick again. Do it so we can get some decent enough damage. Uh, I mean, it does some damage, I guess. Okay, a few more, like one more lick, should get into the red. Uh, hopefully, Snuffer can get into the red. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, wood hammer. Oh, oh, and that does recoil. That, re that, 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 that does recoil damage. Uh, okay, that was that was a mistake. I should have used a. Should have used a um, nest ball. I should probably switch around my Pokemon, because Greninja is at risk. So I might. Um, I'm gonna use Lucario, just to say. Uh, replacement for now, just so we can get through this area. Um, yeah, hopefully we can. Oh, hang on, hang on. I know there's some items here. Yeah, 
Yep, not only are we going to find some good Pokemon, but also some items. And if I remember correctly, that we can get a um, like a icicle plate, I think, in this section. I can't. 100% remember if it's an icicle plate. Oh, okay. I think you used my mouse one again. Uh, okay. On which we go. Uh, break that one. I think in one of these sections there is a plate. Like an elemental plate. And I feel like it's um, icicle, icicle plate. Uh, calcium. That will sell good at the Pokemart. Um, anything here? Hang on, wait. Ooh. Nothing. Okay. Um. No. 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 There we go. Okay. Um. Get off the bike. Go. Get onto Mammoth's win again. Turn. There we go. So, if I go up here, that might give me more items. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Another path for items. And. Again, destroy the rock. Oh, there's two pathways. Nice. That's what I need. And, oh, and that's one. That's two. Get off. Then get onto the bike so we can get through here faster. Anything here? Nope. This way. Uh, anything here? Ooh! Ooh! Nope. Timer ball. Uh, I was expecting something better than a timer ball. Um, okay, let's check here. Oh, aha! Yeah, I took a plate. I was—I knew there was a there's a specific specific plate here. Okay, so that's one pathway done. Time to check the other way. It, oh, it's a another sky battle. Okay, uh, care for a sky battle with a sky trainer. Huh. It's, it's takeoff time. Uh, come on, everyone. Let's show off our let's show off our combat maneuvering. Another sky battle. Okay. Yeah, I kind of wish they added more sky battles in like into like future Pokemon games. Ah, it's a Rotom. Ah, this this is a this is a big problem because Rotom it's a ghost and electric type and. Talent Flame is weak. Oh, Confuse Rate. Okay. It used Confuse Rate. Ah, oh, that means it could use an electric type move at any time. Ah, uh, okay. Um. Okay. Um. Do I have any full heals? Oh, that's right. I forgot to get full heals as well. Ah, I should have bought full heals. That was the problem. Okay. Uh. Discharge. Okay. Uh. That's a strong move. Ah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use flame charge again, just so I can do some damage. Oh, okay, good. Oh, good. Good. Road comes down. Oh, there's still another Pokemon to go. Oh, hopefully, it's someone. I'm. It's a good one. Oh, Butterfree. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna use fly. I'm two flame charges up. I'm just gonna use fl uh, fly, just so. Ooh, ooh. Well, anyways, I've got this for talent flame. If it hits, yeah, there we go. Fly hits. There we go. Because there was no way I was going to use acrobatics and have butterfly tank that hit. Because. I've only got one flying type. Um and I am not Okay, I should probably okay, I should probably heal. Uh yeah, just in case. Uh, I do come into other um flying type trainers. Or trainers that use flying types. Same difference. Um Okay, full heal on Talon Flying. Full heal on Greninja. Yep, there we go. That's full heal on both of them. They're now fully healed. Now time to continue our journey to the next town. Okay, uh Diagonal, there we go. Hopefully we can find we can find some more Pokemon in this section. That'd be nice. Um 
Because we because we've only seen one that's snow for ooh. Guys, I know there's a deli bird. Uh oh yeah, oh speaking of deli birds, here's one now. Yeah, because I know there's deli birds, snowvers, uh, bomber snows I think. Um I think that's it. I could be wrong, there could be another uh, some other ice types here in this particular section, but those are the ones that I do know you can find in this particular part of the game. Oh, okay. Right, ah, uh, okay. That's a bit kind of a waste. Okay, um, I wonder. Uh -huh. Turn. Have I? I you know, I've already been here. What? No, no, turn, turn. No, oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, there are other ice types. There's a Sneasel. Uh, I should probably, uh, you know what, I'm gonna switch out for Raichu. Yeah. Yeah, so, oh, really, Raichu's, like, one experience point away from, uh, gaining, gain, g gaining level 49. Um, let's use Thunderbolt. Hopefully it doesn't, does it doesn't, KO? It does KO. Ah. Uh. Okay, right to level 49. Nice. Uh, oh, Lakaio level 54. Nice. Okay, uh. I guess um, there's no catching Pokemon in this episode, I guess. I don't know. Um. Oh, okay, I know. Okay, I think there's a Red Canyon coming up very soon in this section. Oh, an Obama Snow. Nice. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not going to make Wolf of Lucario. I'm just going to use Bone Rush. That's normal Lucario. Ooh. That does nothing. Oh, and he, he's just in green. Okay, um... Okay, um... I've got an idea. I'm going to Mega Evolve Lucario and then use Bone Rush to see the difference in power. Just in case. Hopefully this works. Um, does a lot more damage. Hopefully another time. Yes. Okay. One more time. Ah, oh, four times. Okay. Okay. This might give me a chance to uh, uh, catch up on my snow. Um, nest ball. Let's try that out again. Kind of like I did with Snowva. One, two, three. Hopefully catching. Okay. Ah, caught a bomber snow. Nice. Ah, a lot of experience. Okay, time for Obama Snow's entry. Okay, he is the Frost Tree Pokemon. He is a Grass and Ice type. His entry says, It lives a quiet life on mountains that are perpetually covered in snow. It hides itself by whipping up blizzards. Yeah. Because uh, his ability, uh, cause his, yeah, cause his ability is Snow Warning. I think that's what its ability is. And it basically creates a hailstorm. And it's kind of a useful ability, because then... Because it can, because it can survive. Because the hailstorm is up for for a few rounds or for for, for, for a few turns, and then you won't get hurt because the bomb snow is part of ice type. And but the other Pokemon's will, well, all the other Pokemon will get damage if they're not ice type. And we're getting a clip from the Hollow Cast. Oh, and Serena, DJ. This time, th uh, this time, I challenge you to a battle in front of Anastar to gym. Prepare yourself. Okay. Uh, I know. I know. There's a. There's a. Uh, uh, there we go. Rare candy. Yeah. Ooh. This means I could possibly. Um. Level up. Uh. Sligu. Uh. In between episodes. And then I could find a 
um, route that's raining, and then just use the, uh, um, uh, the red candy on Sligo, and then, uh, oh, you there, and then I can use the red candy on Sligo to evolve Sligo up to level, fi to level up Sligo to fight level 50, and then evolve Sligo into Gudra. I came in place of Dexter to tell you something. There's a person in Anna here in Anna, in Anna Star City who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Okay. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. I bought you some gifts. Put them to good use. Ah, oh, repeat balls. Uh, repeat balls make it easier to catch catch kinds of Pokemon that you've caught before. Even though they're the same species, the, the strengths and natures of individual Pokemon can be really difficult. Okay, um, also, time to heal, and also, uh, I think it's this one, uh, aha, okay, okay, the, this is, this is the, uh, Pokemart that I want to be at, okay, so, this particular Pokemart, as well as several others, um, have, um, what's it called, uh, oh, TMs, um, and they can give you, you know, um, the, the specific uh, TMs to give you. And this one is uh, one to be at because they have uh, some of the best ones because they are like hard hitting ones. Um, hang on, how many PP ups do I have? One. I've got one PP up. Um, anything else do I have to give? Um, how much is this? Uh, okay, so at the moment I don't have enough to get both um, the TMs I need, that being Thunder and Fire Blast, because I would like to give these to Sligu. Uh, and also, Thunder is a lot better, because Thunder is a move that, uh, that has a chance of hitting or not hitting. Uh, but if if it if you if you have a Pokemon that has uh, what's it called um, Rain Dance, uh, Thunder has a like a lot more chance of hitting um, that Pokemon. Uh, and also, I believe this Pokemon gives you TM. Yeah, I may not be able to share my love with you, but I can certainly share some TMs. Here, have this. Oh, Flamethrower! Nice. Uh, come back tomorrow uh, during a different time of day, and I'll give you another TM. Oh, yeah, she gives you different TMs. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I wonder, do, can Sligu uh, learn? F no, it cannot learn flamethrower. And I here I thought it could learn flamethrower. Maybe when it's a Gudra, maybe. Um. Oh, okay. There's a very close up of uh, Nurse Joy. Um. Okay, okay, and if I believe it or not, if I believe, if I, oh, if I remember, the next gym is a, um, is a psychic type gym, yeah, so, and I, and I also remember, uh, uh, that, um, there are some that are, some of the Pokemon that the gym leader has is water, like, one of the Pokemon that she uses, uses is, uh, water. Some people come up. Some people call out of place artifacts like this. Oop art. This might have been made with this mysterious Pokemon power Pokemon. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, time to go to the gym. DJ. Let me show you how. How much stronger I've have, I have gotten? Look, I did say we, we were going to be rifles back in that cafe in Luminosity after all. Okay, Serena, uh, and she sounds out meow stick. Okay, uh. Started to hail, um. Time to send out to my meow stick. Yeah. I really, I do, uh, I know, I think I've said this before, but I do really enjoy, I do prefer meow stick's female 
design over its male form because I think it's just I think the colors are a lot better and it's just really cool looking I, and I think it's really interesting with like how the colors yeah I just I just really do prefer female female meatic over uh, male meatic in terms of the design and also I think they have some different moves I think they can learn different moves um, yeah, I think, because I think, if I remember, male meatic helps the female one or something, I can't exactly remember, that could be true, that could not be true, um, yeah, oh, it, it, or it could be like when in the, in a double battle, um, the male one helps the female one, or they help each other out because of their abilities or something, I can't exactly remember why, but, I think that's something I, had, I can't exactly remember. Uh, okay, time for Absol. I'm just going to make Wolf of Lucario and then just use Aura Sphere. Yeah, and then... There we go, Mega Lucario. Time to use Aura Sphere. There we go. That's Absol down. Uh, ah, still a good level 42, nice. Uh, chestnut. Uh, time for starters to go against starters. And time for Greninja to use acrobatics. Yeah, I, I do really like Greninja. I, I feel like he's the best starter out of all the out of all of the color starters in this game. Okay, uh, that was easy. Yeah, because Chestnut is the first grass fighting starter. Uh, and that means he's really weak to uh, flying types, or and Pokemon that have flying type moves. So, and Greninja can learn uh, flying type moves. Oh, Vaporeon! And if I remember correctly, depending on which starter you choose, um, Serena uh, will have one of the three original evolutions. I think. I think it. Um, Depends on which starter. I, I don't know. It's like because if you choose one starter, she has one of the original ones. If you choose, if you choose another, she'll have the other one. That sort of thing. So yeah, it's really cool. But I would have thought she would have chosen the one that was that was super effective against your starter. So if you, if you chose um, Greninja, she would have had chosen, or she would have had. Um, uh, L, 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 uh, what's, what's the, um, electric devolution, uh, uh, I've completely forgotten, uh, because there's Flareon, Vaporeon, uh, uh, Vaporeon, Flareon, Electric, Electrion? No. The, the the name of the the uh, Thundreon? No, oh, but anyways, the um, electric evolution will be on screen now because I've completely forgotten the name of that one. Uh, am I not just am I just not good enough to be to bring out the best of my Pokemon? Yeah, but uh, the uh, electric po uh, the electric evolution is uh, it's gone it's gone in my mind. Uh, uh, my Pokemon is so, uh, so much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of us. Anyways, I'll hear I'll hear your Pokemon here. You and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the gym leader. Go for it. And that we shall. Um, how, I wonder. How long I wonder. Uh, ooh, oh, escape rope. Okay. Um, that's nice, I guess. Uh. I wonder if there's any other hidden items. Ooh! 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 Any, uh, any items? Uh. Item? 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 There we go! A pretty wing. Uh. Completely, completely forgotten what they are meant for. I think they're meant for uh, static 
no, uh, for no static, um, for rating the Pokemon stats. Uh, ooh. Oh. Super Repel. Nice, okay. That's a nice, that's nice, I think. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Any other hidden items I can find? Possibly a rare candy? Hopefully. Anything? Because if not, I might just go to the gym. Nope. Well, it's time to face the gym leader of Anastar City. Sorry for the um, cut that someone came up with uh, with my flat flatmate, so I had to quickly talk to him about something. Um, so anyway, uh, now we're just going to quickly go and get through as many trainers as we can uh, through the Anastar City Gym. Uh, don't be distracted by your surroundings. Focus on unleashing your true power. So yeah, I think this is the best gym uh, complex out of the, the whole gyms because it's just like that sort of outer spacey psychic type gym and it's really interesting. Um, okay, Executor. Um, okay, let's go for Talon Flame. Yep, Talon Flame and then uh, Side Shock. That wouldn't do too much damage, hopefully. Uh, okay, um. Acrobatics should do enough damage. There we go. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, Meatic level 15. Nice. Future Sight. Um, no, no, I'm gonna not learn Future Sight because Future Sight is a, even though it's a good move. Uh, I kind of like the moves I have now. Well, I've only got one more move that I like to teach. Meow stick. Uh, until I, um, I just dark pulse and I and I think I can find it somewhere. I think it's either in with the uh, with the um per, the with the uh, uh, person next to the bookshelf in the in the Pokemon po Pokemon the Poke Center, and yeah, possibly I don't know, can't exactly remember. Um, so yeah. Okay, uh, yep, kind of wish there was like more trainers, like in certain places, uh, okay, is this way, this way, did I just, no, okay, oh, cause, uh, I thought I was going back on myself, uh, you can go any anywhere unless you, as long as you never give up. We are challenged by Psychic Harry. Medicham. Uh, yeah, okay, um. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have a Kario Mega Evolve and use Dragon Pulse. Because hopefully, Dragon Pulse should do enough damage to Medicham before Medicham uses, uses a Fighting type move on Kario that will deal, that will deal a lot of damage. Oh, a critical hit. Ah, oh. uh, it was a risk. It was a risk I was willing to take. Uh, okay, let's lose. Let's use Sligu. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna switch out for Sligu. Um, muddy water. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Actually. I I'm just gonna I'm just gonna switch in for another Pokemon that isn't Sligu or Lucario because that's gonna that's just gonna be a risk. Um Okay, uh Tana Flame level fifty two. That's nice. Uh Okay, uh, I should probably heal up. I should probably revive both. Um, Lucario and Sligu. Should probably also uh, rearrange. There we go. The TMs. Uh, okay. Uh, heal. Well, no, no heal. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's one. That's two. 
then we should probably heal up everyone that's taken damage just in case. Yep, there we go. So I might switch around. I might have Raichu because I feel like I haven't really used Raichu in a while. Um, and I do like using Raichu from time to time in the in the less place. Um, okay, what is this lead? Nowhere. Okay, worth a shot. I thought I could find the item seeker, but maybe obviously not. Um. Uh, I think we're getting close to the gym leader. I think. Because uh, I think it's this trainer, then another one, before the um, gym leader. I had a vision that the battle we were about to have will be different from the all previous battles. Yeah, I feel like this, this, I feel like this, this, this trainer that we're about to fight, and also the, um, and that one normal trainer before we fight the, uh, the gym leader, I feel like. Oh, oh I forgot this is, this is, uh, Raichu is in Lucario, I, uh, I just remembered, Raichu can't mega evolve. Skill swap. What does that do? I've completely forgotten. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, a bit stupid. A bit stupid. Stupid move, but anyway, there we go. Yep. Ooh, level forty. Oh no, level forty-nine. Level fifty. For what? For Ichu. Look, are you level fifty-five? Close combat. Nope, oh, I've got the perfect moveset for Lucario. Uh, okay, that's another one down, and I feel like there's one more. I feel like there's one more train before the. Uh. Uh. Leader. yeah. There might be one more, I feel like. Uh. This gym exists only, only, only by absorbing the power of the cosmos. Okay, uh, a guard of war. Ooh, now we can use uh, Lucario because um, God of War is the was one of the many Pokemon in Generation Six that got the Fairy type, and Fairy types are weak to Steel types, and it's a good thing that I gave Lucario Metal Claw in the last episode because now we can use that move. Ooh, okay, that did somewhat some damage to Lucario, but now with Mega Evolution and uh, Metal Claw, we can now just do this and deal a lot of damage. There we go. Stat oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. It, used, it has trait. It has the trait ability. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot. Like God of War's ability is Trace, because what Trace does is basically trace your Pokémon's ability. So, if, let's say for example, um, I sent out, um, I don't know, um, uh, let's say a Gudra that has Hydration, then, um, then the God of War would trace Hydration, and if it was raining, and let's say God of War was uh, had paralysis, it would be cured of his paralysis. Uh, so yeah, so at the gym leader now, and I feel like I should end it there for this episode. Uh, we'll be fighting the gym the gym leader in next week's episode. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.